Hey everyone, Arlie with Cargo Bike Life. A common question I receive is which kids bike to buy when a Voom or Prevelo are out of the budget. In this video, we are gonna review what the most important features are when you're buying an everyday kids bike for around the neighborhood or riding mostly on pavement and hard packed dirt. And then we're gonna see how this Cannondale Quick 24 inch kids bike stacks up. If you're looking to buy a kids bike, do us a huge favor and use the links in the description so we can potentially make a commission. And hey, a quick disclaimer, Cannondale provided this kids bike. I did used to sell them at my family bike shop, but they've made some changes and I wanted to see those changes and how well they handled daily riding under some kids. All right, so the first most important thing when buying a kids bike is that it fits. And you're gonna be looking at the standover. So when a kid is standing over the bike with their shoes on, you want about a finger or two between them and the bike. This Cannondale Quick 24 inch has a great low standover of 22 and a quarter inches. It's actually low enough for my six year old to ride, even though he's more comfortable on a 20 inch. Something that did surprise me building this updated version of the Cannondale Quick is that the seat post provided is fairly short and they do this so that the seat post and seat can go as low as possible. The downfall is as your kid grows, they might need a longer seat post. So this part right here, and it's a 25.4. So just know if your kid is starting to outgrow this bike, you can swap this out and get a lot more life out of the bike size. After bike fit is the weight of the bike. A lot of big box kids bikes are just insanely heavy, sometimes more than half of the kids weight. For everyday neighborhood or pavement 24 inch kids bikes, I'm trying to find bikes between 20 and 24 pounds. Gears and shifting are pretty important. You don't want a super cheap shifting setup or it'll be impossible for the kids' small hands to work. The Quick has seven gears in the back and a twist shifter with a nice gear indicator to help the kid know if they're making it harder or easier. I have found that this is a cheaper level of shifter, so it can wear out faster if your kid is riding a ton, but the good news is it's just a $20 part that's pretty easy for a shop to replace if your kid is riding that much and wears it out. Tires are something that's often overlooked on kids' bikes. You probably don't want anything super knobby, but you also don't want anything super slick because kids like to ride through grass or down that dirt hill. So the Quick has a nice slim profile knob that is considered a hybrid tire. It's also a really affordable tire, so if your kids like to skid through them, it's not gonna break the bank to replace that tire. Next up will be colors. If you asked a kid what they care about on their bike, it's gonna be the color of the bike. This quick comes in three main colors this season, but if you call around to different Cannondale dealers, you may be able to find last year's color. When in a pinch on color, switching out the pedals or adding reflective stickers for your kid to decorate the bike can definitely help. Where do you buy the bike? A lot of the nicer kids' bikes are sold primarily online. This can be a barrier for families who don't feel comfortable buying sight unseen or building up the bike themselves. Now, the main advantage of the Quick is that they're sold through local bike shops and REI. The other advantage of the Quick is the price for the weight. Quality kids' bikes range between $280 to $500 plus dollars. The Quick is gonna be on the lower end. This is a great price for a locally sold, nice, lightweight kids bike with decent parts. So before I give my final recommendation, let's talk about the competitors. If you wanna see side-by-side -side comparisons of various 24 inch kids bikes, make sure to visit our site, cargobikelife.com for the kids bike directory. Comparing this to the Trek Precaliper, the Trek Precaliber used to be the direct competitor to the Cannondale Quick since it was sold by Trek stores all over the world. Now they have moved to fatter tires and heavy suspension forks on most models. I don't think that makes a bad bike, 
But for kids that primarily ride on the pavement, the bike is overkill and going to be much heavier than it needs to be. Let's compare it to the Guardian 24-inch. Guardian is the most affordable direct consumer bike I recommend. They also have this patented one-hand braking system where it takes the front brake lever away and puts it all in the rear brake lever to ensure a kid doesn't flip over the handlebars. I do prefer locally purchased bikes just because I know that they're built right, but the Guardian is a good idea if you don't have a Cannondale dealer near you. Compared to the Prevelo Alpha 4, now, the Prevelo is my go-to choice for families that want or need the lowest standover height, but it only comes with premium parts and a premium price. If your kid rides a ton and you want something that's going to withstand a lot of use or multiple kids, the Prevelo is an amazing choice. Some kids also prefer the colors and look of the Prevelo. And then last, let's compare it to the Voom 5, the cream of the crop. It has an adjustable stem, specifically designed accessories like fenders and a rear rack. It's also going to have the most size range to be able to fit it. I have reviews from all of those companies coming, so make sure you hit subscribe for more content like this. So final thoughts. When I owned a family bike shop, I carried Cannondale bikes solely for their kids' bikes. In my opinion, they are the best option for the price, weight, and availability to purchase locally. They have definitely changed some parts in the last three to four years. I don't think it's going to sway anyone from buying it, but if your kid does ride a ton, you might need to swap out some fairly affordable parts long-term. There are definitely benefits of some of the other premium direct consumer bikes. The small sizing definitely surprised me, but like I've mentioned, that seat post and seat are easy to swap out. I would love to hear from you, what 24 inch kids bike do you end up with and why? I have many more kids bike reviews coming, so please let me know what you would like to have covered in these videos and make sure to check out the really detailed reviews over on cargobikelife.com, which I'll link below. As always, thank you for watching, Stay well, stay good, and remember to get on your bike and leave your car at home when you can.